Today, we're going to build this SnowSight dashboard. So this is SnowSight showing a, on Snowflake to show a single version of the truth for financial services asset management. We're gonna show how to create this dashboard and the filters that are used. These are the filters. We're gonna show how to create the trader and the symbol and the, and the date filter here. And also these five tiles, these six tiles here and drag them in, okay? So this is our open source, open source demo here for financial services asset management. And if we go to the snow site tab and we go to the filter tab, here are our queries. Now we just hit raw and little explanation of what these are, the benefits of the filter. It's a single version of truth. You don't need to write SQL. And when you change a filter, all the queries that use it have the latest definition. We're also going to have an extra small constant warehouse. If you don't have one, create one. Uh, it just allows you to save a save some computing power. Okay, and they're going to be used in that script that I just showed you. All right, so here are our filters. Let's see if I could just copy all three of them. And we're going to create the trader, the date, and the symbol. So FS standing for financial services. So let's create the first one for trader. So here we go into our trusted classic UI and to get to the new snow site UI, you just go to this preview app button and it's going to fire up here. We'll go to admin and settings and then filters. Okay. And now we're going to click filter and you can add a filter. Now you do need uh, elevator permissions to add these filters. So just make sure you have it. If you can't, if you can't see it, make sure you log in with a strong enough account to see these filters. So this one's going to be, I believe we call it a trader. That's what that colon trader is. So we'll call it trader, the display name. So we'll call it trader and the SQL keyword to activate it will be colon trader and the description. If you want, I would just leave it blank for here. It's a, Pretty obvious it's a trader. So who can update this filter and use when refreshing query back options? Ooh, we should give this to our FinServe admin row. Hmm. Okay, we'll just leave that for B. And which warehouse are we gonna use? Let's we'll use the extra small constant warehouse. Okay, great. And now we're gonna write the query. And we can get rid of this. So this should work. Let's just test it. It's getting this select distinct traders from the trader table. Just waking up the query, waking up the compute. There we go. All right. So we're done. Make sure and everything else. Oh, we should leave this as refresh daily. Uh, just because this is a demo, you could likely refresh more often uh, when you're in production. But refresh daily should work. And everything else is just fine. So we'll just hit save. So now, as you see, anytime you hit colon trader in your snow site worksheet, you'll be able to use this drop down. We'll, we'll see it in action very soon. So our next one is what is our next one? FS state right there. So FS date, so we'll call it, uh, what should we call it, date? Maybe financial services date? Mm, let's call it financial services date. You can call it whatever you want. We'll use the keyword FS date since that's what's coded in our queries. Which warehouse? I always like using an extra small warehouse and I'll call it, put the constant over there. And we're gonna write the query. So this is Oops. Let's get over here. Bring this query over. We should run it. So it's getting the distinct date from a two billion uh, record trade table. And so then this will populate the, the date, uh, the date dropdown that is available in your queries.
All right, there you go. So we'll hit done and we will hit save. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our third one. And our third one is FS symbol. So that's like financial services symbol. Let's call it symbol. Do a compute we're going to use. Let's go. Write the query. So it's looking, uh, scanning the two billion roads using an extra small warehouse to find a dis distinct list of symbols in there. So that's going to populate the drop down. There should be about a thousand symbols different stock ticker symbols that are that are being traded over our 10 years of history and then so when you use the drop down you'll be able to just drop down and have it apply to every everything everything in your dashboard okay and we're going to have that refresh daily as well okay let me just make sure i have this one set to refresh daily as well oops good that I check that refresh daily. All right, and I hit save. All right, so we've added our filters now. So we added our trader uh, date and our symbol value. Okay, so now we're gonna come back here to GitHub and we've got our filters added in. So now the, let's add the queries that are gonna use this fast filters and that's this this script right here, script 35. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Actually, yeah, so we're gonna do position over time is the first one that we're gonna do. Let me just kind of move these side by side right there. And now we're gonna create a dashboard. So just a sneak peek at it. Remember, this is the dashboard we're doing. This is the first one, the position over time. Okay, so we're gonna go here, plus dashboard, whatever you wanna call it. Um, let's call it FinServe Asset Management Demo. Create dashboard. All right, we're gonna add a tile. And we're gonna paste that first one. And here, position over time, that's what we're gonna use as the title of this tile so you just click right there on the top position over time and you should be good let's just uh let's just add a symbol let's do uh let's do amazon okay and trader i like trader charles and for which day, let's do the last six months. Okay, so let's just make sure that working fine. Position does not exist. Okay, uh, I see. So over here, we have to use the FinServe AM database. Okay, so now let's run that again. Here we go. Okay, so now we hit return. Oops, is this gonna use, uh, this is gonna use a line chart and it's gonna use these five variables. So, it's gonna use, let's go back into our edit query and we're gonna see right here this button called chart. We're gonna click that and we're gonna add these five uh, attributes. So cashews, we already have. Now we're gonna hit add com and add the next one, which is market value. Okay, so that's been added. And aggregation can be none. Add column is PNL. Hmm. 
number of shares cumulative and again for all these aggregations just hit num and for close not all right so there you are that's your market value cash use your PL okay So that is how we did it. So let's go back here. We should see the chart now. All right, perfect. And to, to replicate this one position over time, we didn't include, we didn't include the, we didn't include the, this, this is a different set of data. So that's why the, the chart looks a different. We didn't include the rows. So we're gonna hide we're gonna hide this one by saying unplaced tile. Okay, great. So that's your position over time. So let's go to our next one. Our symbol closing price. Okay. So just kind of rinse and repeat. Well, here we go to this plus sign and new tile from worksheet. We're gonna at the title of this tile. And it's already in FinServe AM, sweet. We're gonna hit run, just to make sure everything works. Okay, everything works, we're good. And now we have the symbol closing price. Okay, next one. Traders current PNL for symbol. Rinse and repeat, new tile from worksheet, traders current PL for symbol. And we'll make sure that works. Ah, and this one's gonna be a scorecard chart. Perfect. So that's the value. We're gonna go to chart. And here in the chart type dropdown, we're gonna click scorecard so as you can see those are the five different type of chart scorecards are great for revenue profit or, or PL or any just like when you want to just highlight one one or one number and if you go there and there you go traders current PL for symbol okay and then symbol position details all right so we're gonna go here new tile from worksheet Symbol position details in the title. We're gonna hit run. As you can see, it's using the filters that have already been added to this dashboard. And you see everything is Amazon and Charles and for, for the date range. So if you're curious as well, this is this is what that date expands into, but that's kind of out of topic. That's, Okay, so we've added the symbol position details as well. Okay, Tr two more to go, hang in there. Traders current portfolio PL. So another scorecard chart, plus sign. Traders current portfolio PL. Okay. And this one's a scorecard chart. All right, so we're gonna run it. Chart, scorecard chart. All righty. Hmm, where'd that one go? Traders current portfolio PL. Let's drag it over. Huh, doesn't seem to be allowing me to drag it. Eh, I'll do that in a second. Let me add this final one, and then we're gonna shift the tiles around. Traders current portfolio positions. Okay. New tile. Add the title. All right. 
run it. So this one is, we just want to show the results in case the trader or portfolio manager wants to see the roll level detail and then they could always download it or search through it or whatever. Okay, so that has all been added. So now what I want to do, remember, we had our original one looking like this, position over time, symbol closing price, and then trader's current p and and then the symbol position details over there. So let's try to get that going. Let's see if I drag this one up over here. That buys me some more room. Here we go. There's where the other ones are. So now what I want to try to do, let's see if I can bring this one over here. Sweet. And over here. All right. I think we're good. So let's see if it looks pretty much the same. Yeah, it does. I just got to refresh the data on that, on that other demo. But there you go. You've got your symbol closing price and let's just test this. As you see, this is Amazon for Trader Charles over the last six months. If you wanted to say for the last 12 months, you just click that. And again, this is just using a small. Let's actually increase this slightly to a, uh, instead of extra small, we're gonna use the, we should have a FinServe AM DevOps warehouse. Let's use that because we know that's a small. So we'll just use that for our demo show you the different warehouses and so we just have slightly more power for interactive bi usage okay and you see we could we could change the symbol let's say you wanted tesla you could do that or if you wanted to show you to change your trader you could do that as well and you see it just updated all of this data and we could just keep changes and that'll just make sure those filters are working all right so Let's uh, sum up what we did. We, we created these six tiles and we added some filters that are in admin settings and filters. And these filters, these three filters on the bottom will refresh uh, every day using, and it will probably only take a minute to, or less to refresh. And we used uh, this GitHub to get our snow site filters and those queries. So, that is our dashboard and thank you very much for your time.